Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Virgo, for love, a relationship, for the month of June. And this is the second video, the second week of June, 2024. Virgo. You're thinking about a business. You want a business. You want a business and you want this business to get higher. You look into yourself really more nowadays. And it shows me here that you are willing to have a new relationship. Not a new relationship. You have the relationship. But you let go of marriage years and years ago. Some of you, not everybody. And you feel like, you know, that... You didn't want to take the opportunity as much as you were with partner. You are with a partner that you wanted so much to get married to that person. But you felt like, you know, after the first marriage, you don't want to get married again. So you start to freak out, you know, sabotage things. And, and now you feel like, you know, it's over with that marriage. So you are looking into it. You want really something you want that marriage again. Your partner, I get here that he or she is back and forth or up and down about really coming to that degree with you, even though that this person proposed to you before, but you had so many problems, you ended with each other. So it sounds like you know, your partner have ups and downs lately even to discontinue with you and end this relationship is just because of misunderstanding between you both. But he or she feels that they need to continue with you. They want to stop you from being with someone else. And they haven't been really strong enough. They are really like, you know, just before they felt or a few days ago, or a week ago, or a month ago, they felt that you are into another person, or you want another person in your life, and they feel like you are pushing them away. That's why I get here, they get confused, hurting, unhappy with you. They felt like you know, that they are not welcome in your life. You are pushing their button also, in a way that you want them to straighten their life out with you. So he or she felt that you are pushing them away and they misunderstood. That's where the misunderstanding is. So the person in relationship with you have been feeling that maybe you want people from your past or friends that you knew before or you go on a dating site, or you want really other people. So their ego was in the way because they are protective over you. They don't want to go anywhere. They want to be with you. You have a child together for some of you, not everybody. And there is a total confusion like you know, in this person's head. Look at the confusion. He or she tell themselves, you know, maybe this, maybe this. Maybe, maybe she or he, like, you know, Virgo hate me or they don't want me. Maybe they have somebody else. Maybe they are pushing me away because they want really, like, you know, uh, other relationships. But it looks here that they are coming to a realization and still confused, though, that you want to be with them, but they have ego, insecurity in them. Look at the insecurity here and ego issues. 
they were just really like, you know, feeling that, you know, maybe you are disloyal to them. Even though that maybe you wanted to try to go and date other people and find another relationship because of your frustration yourself with this person. But you felt always like, you know, that there is a strong bond between you and your partner and he or she also think the same. That's why you're still together. Um... Sounds here that your partner is really worried. Thinking about, want to spy on you. To see what you, where you are at, what you are doing. Because they felt like, you know, that you want to let, the, let them go. I see that again. So you are coming out of it. Because you felt that maybe this is the relationship is supposed to be. You love this person, but you felt like, you know, this person... It's not committed to anything or not a reliable to, de to depend on or to see like you know, that they are steadily continue to help you. For example, you need their help. You need them to understand you. You need them to hear you. Your partner also that they want you to hear them out, to be sensitive to them and their needs. And you want the same thing. Wow. It sounds like that it's a really big major misunderstanding between you two because I see that there is really so much love and bond, like a strong bond between you and this other person. So you don't really understand. And I get here your person coming through, but they look at their pain and their issue within themselves that you cause them differently than you and you have a different opinion also, and the, you feel like you know, that they are hurting you and not giving you anything. That's where the full dis disappointment is. But other than that, I get here that both of you are protective each other, from each other, like in a, to each other. Uh, what I meant exactly here that you don't want your partner to be with someone else. They don't want you to be with another person either. You feel like, you know, somebody, like lately that everybody are attracted to your partner. They flirt with them. They give them attention. Um, and you seem like, you know, that maybe they are doing something or maybe they are going out, like, you know, because uh, there is other people involved or he or she is doing something behind your back. It doesn't feel to me that your partner is doing anything behind your back. Your partner is running away from the pain that they think and feel that it has been caused by you. And they want that relief. The issue and the problem, both of you like you know, need money also, need like you know, extra money. The money keeps coming, but it's kind of like drops, drops, like you know, it's not really in a big, huge, major way. But I get here if you go steadily on work work is going to be very good. And I see that, you know, the ups and downs with money and finances. Um, you have been really behind on financial or paying bills. And as soon as you pay it, the money is short again. I hope that, you know, this money is going to be really stretching out. There is a, rel a relative here around you that keep helping you. They help you as much as they can. It could be a mother or a father also. They keep an eye on you and they wish you best of luck. But they are not really like, you know, rich or fortunate very much. Also like, you know, to give you every penny they have, they have a life too. But they are doing their best and they wish you the best. Um, it looks here that, you know, you need really to strengthen your partner situation or to give them that confidence again because... When, you, when they are complaining about a situation, they want you to listen because sometimes you, you flare, like, you know, in a way that you shut them up, like, you know, no, I don't, no, I didn't do that, no, I did Like, when you do this, you cause more anger in your partner and more fear and anger, and they become, like, you know, really feeling like they are shut off, they cannot speak, they cannot vent to you and they become crying or upset or more angry and they become like you know against you more and more and you are really frustrated 
best way likely to handle this situation is to listen, even your partner is really wrong or not. I'm sure they are wrong about too many things, but and they misunderstand you also because you love your partner and you want a good life with them, but they hurt your feelings too. So different opinion and different point of view, this is what I'm getting like you know, the two of swords. He or she say something because they mean this, this angle of it. And when you say something, they take it in a wrong way, you take it in a wrong way. So that's why there is an issue or a problem here. What's going to happen between you two? Are you going to split, separate, because I see a relationship almost over? You want to end this relationship. They want to end this relationship. But in the matter of fact, deep inside you both, you don't want to leave each other. You love each other, but you want really better life and happiness. And that happiness hasn't been really coming to you both since a very long time ago. Like ups and downs happiness. Are you going to be leaving each other or not? I get the fool here. Anybody will look at the fool and say, yeah, they are leaving each other. We'll see about that because it has a different meaning. Just be patient. You have to work on your issue of trust. You don't trust each other. And I get here, it gives you darkness. It gives you like, you know, question your partner really very much, make things like you no know, really negative. Where is this issue coming from because of your partner addiction? Like, you know, when they are on addiction here, you think that they can do whatever, okay? You want your partner and they want you to. And it says here that you need to free yourself from anything that is really making you upset with your partner. This is the freedom you see here. Free yourself. Free yourself like if you are holding a grudge, jealousy, anger, anything, you need to let it go. Let go your anger and say, I'm no longer angry with my partner. I love them so much and I know they love me too. You need to have that confidence that I don't see in your reading at all. Confident in yourself, confident that he or she belong to you. You are together. Because it says here you want to help each other and you still do. But it says here that both of you need to free yourself from everything. Not just you, because you are not the only one who is really mistaken with him or her. They are mistaken by you too. Free yourselves. Free yourselves from the pain and the issue. Talk to each other. You need maybe counseling? Maybe. You need counseling. You need somebody to talk to you. Or somebody, other people, like, you know, who understand, like, you know, marriage, a relationship, like, you know, problems and everything. Could be a counselor. It could be a member of your family also who's older. And then understand somebody, like, you know, really wise enough to get you both together. And I don't see you leaving each other anyway. The answer came, no. Even if you leave momentarily, you're going to come back and this person is going to re-enter your life again. So rest assured, like, you know, you need to relax. You need, like, you know, to stop really thinking and worrying uh, about other people coming in the picture or maybe, like, you know, someone else or their exes will go back with them, whatever it is, because you and this person want each other. I'm sure, you know, it makes you happy when somebody flirts with you outside or they make them happy. But that feeling is temporary to feel really good about yourselves, but... When you know how to really like you know, handle your situation inside your home uh, by giving a chance or opportunity to the other person talk and speak and you give them and they give you the same thing and vent like you know, to each other and start really like you know not really to stop each other from talking the other person will feel comfortable a little reassurance from you that you love your partner you tell them that and things will go okay. 
but I see happy family. By fall, you will be more understanding your situation because I see a little bit ups and downs here, but it's not going to continue. Your partner, like, you know, need also, like, you know, you and other people involved in the home, if you are living with the sister, with the parent, uh, not to look at them, like, you know, really in a bad way. Or you could be having kids, kids from another person, or your own kids, like, you know, just do not fight in front of them because your partner feel like you're left alone or isolated and other people look at him or her in a bad way that make them upset because they want every uh, they want to earn the love from everybody not just you even the home front whoever live in that house with you guys Best of luck for you, dear Virgo, and if you need a private reading, please contact me, and the link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. After you click on reading prices, please you purchase your reading and give me a call, and the phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.